Hi students, it's Shayna, your teacher at EspressoEnglish.net. And in today's daily phrasal verb lesson, I want to teach you the phrasal verb come up. Before I begin, I wanted to invite you to check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. This is one of my most popular courses at Espresso English because it focuses on the phrasal verbs that are really, really common in everyday spoken English. And it teaches you these phrasal verbs through dialogues, natural situations where we would use them. So make sure to click on the link in this video or in the description for more information and registration in my phrasal verbs course. Let's learn about come up. Here are three options, three possible definitions of this phrasal verb and only one is correct. I'd like you to guess which one, A, B, or C, and post your answer in the comments, and then keep watching until the end of this video to see if you're right. So does come up mean appear unexpectedly, become popular, or improve? A, B, or C. Let me describe a situation where we'd use it. Let's say that you work at a software company, so making computer programs, and one day you're going to launch a new version of the software to all of your customers. And you're part of the team that will ensure that this launch uh, goes smoothly. So on the day of the big launch, you launch the new version of the software, and you work all day on it, and then uh, a couple days later, your manager asks how the launch went, and you tell him, well, a few technical issues came up during the launch, but my team and I have already handled them, and now everybody is satisfied. So based on that situation, what do you think it means to come up? Does it mean to appear unexpectedly, to become popular, or to improve? Ready to find out? Come up means to appear unexpectedly. So in this situation, when I said a few technical issues came up during the launch, that means that there were a few issues or a few problems that appeared. And they were unexpected, but fortunately, me and my team, we handled them and we were able to satisfy all the customers. You'll often see this phrasal verb come up used with the words problems, uh, issues, or something. Um, so I said some technical issues came up. Uh, I could also say some problems came up during the launch. Sometimes when people don't go to something they were planning on going to, they say, oh, something came up. In other words, some other problem or responsibility appeared, maybe their child got sick, maybe their car needed to be taken into the mechanic, something came up, some problem, some issue appeared unexpectedly, and then uh, that person couldn't go to the event they were planning on going to. Come up can also uh, be used in a slightly different way when talking about conversations. So if something comes up in conversation, it means it appears. Not necessarily unexpectedly, maybe unexpectedly, but not necessarily. For example, let's say you're having a meeting with your, um, with your team at the software company, and uh, some people make suggestions for the next version of the software. And so later you could tell your manager, hey, here are a few suggestions that came up during the meeting came up in this case means they were introduced into the conversation. They appeared in the conversation. Or if your manager asks, oh, well, what did the team think about the new website design? Then you might say, oh, that didn't come up during the meeting. In other words, we didn't talk about it. This topic did not appear in the conversation. All right, so now that you have an idea of how to use come up, I'd love to see you use it in a sentence. Remember, putting these phrasal verbs into practice is really important to help you remember them better. So post a comment and try to use come up in your own sentence. 
inside my phrasal verbs course, if you join phrasal verbs in conversation, there are also opportunities for you to write your own sentences using the phrasal verbs in the course and actually send them to me for feedback. So I'll correct them and let you know if you've used that phrasal verb correctly. So if that interests you, make sure to click on the link for the course phrasal verbs in conversation. Thank you for watching me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's daily phrasal verb lesson and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.